Classwork 19, uh, we're going to do this in two parts, um, one for each of the steel dies. Uh, so I'm going to come up here like we always do, save, and go with Classwork 19, part 1, um, and click save. I'm not sure what's going on with the screen there, but I'll jump back over here. We can see now we've got Classwork 19, part 1 up the top here. So close our data panel and again so we've got room to move. Uh, and this time we might start off with um, a side view. I'm going to start from the left hand side so toggle around on the navigation cube and then put a new sketch in the page there. Um, I'm going to start with a rectangle. And the rectangle is going to be 70 millimeters high by 90 long and we'll select enter uh, and then we'll extrude that uh, that surface so we'll just select it make sure we're toggling around so we can see our extrusion we want to make that 56 millimeters deep I'm just going to fit that to the screen there so we can see. We might zoom out just a little bit. Okay. Uh, on the left hand side, we might select there and, and do a sketch. I'm going to start with a line from the top left corner. That's going to come out 15 millimeters based on our plan. That's where it needs to be. Uh, next thing I want to do is a line from the bottom right hand corner coming up 12. And I'm going to place that one in there as well. Uh, I now want to play a little bit of dot to dot and join those two together to get the first of our angles. Uh, and I want to and need to extrude this through and cut it out. But we want to actually cut out the whole triangle there. So I'm actually just going to add some more lines to complete that shape. Press E for extrude. Select it and take that back the full uh, 56. We have that removed now. Uh, our next step is to go to the uh, what is the front. I'm going to select that edge. Uh, and we're going to put a new sketch on there. Uh, and this time we want a sketch to go from uh, the top right hand corner all the way through to the top of our 12. So I'm just going to go with a line tool uh, and I'm going to start um, probably at this point here. Actually better still, I'm going to start right down the bottom there. We're going to go up first out 70 millimeters high uh, to give us a point up here. This point's actually in midair at the moment. I'm going to go with a line from there coming across this is our 12 line that we drew just before um, and we need to finish that triangle before we can then extrude. We now have this triangle, this is the point I was talking about before, it's up in midair. We need to select that triangle and we want to push that back through our shape. Uh, we don't want to cut it though, we actually want to add or join. So I'm going to select join and we end up with a, a V or a valley sort of looking shape here in the middle and I'm going to click OK. Uh, there's really only a couple more things to do for this die. Um, one being the hexagon and the other being the chamfer, a 12 by 12 chamfer on that front side. So I'm going to rotate around to the back, select the back and I'm going to put a new sketch on there. Now, I'm just going to go with a, a rectangle. That rectangle is going to come uh, what have we got in 28 and down. Um, we sort of we want the middle of this this shape here. Um, so we've got 12. Uh, Half of 36 is going to give us 
18. Uh, 18 plus 12 is 30. So we can come down 30, select enter. Uh, then we want to come up to, and in, in the create tool, we want to create a polygon. Um, you go and select a polygon in here. I'm place that in. If I drag that straight down, it's going to give us the right shape. Uh, now we need 18 on the inside here. And we want six sided, okay, which is on, off to our right there. And we're going to select enter. We then want to trim uh, our rectangle, get rid of our excess lines, press E for extrude. Select our hexagon, and we're going to drag that right the way back through our plane, minus 90. We want it to cut and get rid of that material, we're going to select OK. We're now almost there. The last thing to do is to select our front edge here, up to modify and add a chamfer. In the dialog box, we want that to be equal distances, and we need to make that. 12. Select OK and our item is now complete. So save and OK and you're finished.